So what is covered? How to use the change notifier and animated builder to selectively rebuild individual widgets for performance. What is the problem that we're trying to solve? The dashboard app needs to chart the espresso, the coffee, latte, and the total consumption. Join each section bar, the chart needs to refresh independently for performance. So what is the solution? To use the change notifier and animated builder to allow to selectively rebuild individual widgets for performance. The uh, change notifier and animated builder allow to selectively rebuild individual widgets for performance. What are the steps? First, create a class that extends change notifier. Second, add fields to contain data. Third, add methods to modify the data and call the notify listeners method. Fourth, add the animated builder widget in the widget tree to rebuild widgets selectively if the data changed. Let's take a look at the uh, sample application. We have a dashboard that tracks the consumption of espresso, coffee, and latte in these three bar charts, and also the total of all the coffees that are being uh, drank and ordered. Now, the first three bars, espresso, coffee, and latte, are grouped together as one widget that redraws every time that value is updated. And the total gets updated separately when the total value is updated. And uh, so that way we can show that only appropriate widget will redraw in the widget tree that needs to be updating. So let's just take a look at um, how this is accomplished. And also in the log file, you can see that uh, the total is the total bar when it gets called and the espresso coffee latte, you can see the times that they're getting called at different times. I have a timer set up to simulate orders coming in and consumptions. And you can see the coffees are done plotting now, and also the total coffee bar is done plotting. Let's take a look and see on how this is, uh, is accomplished. First, what we want to do is we want to create a, um, a change notifier, a coffee change notifier. And we want to have two separate ones, one for the three bars that do the espresso coffee latte and one for the total. Now, let's take a look at the class section. This helper class here, it's just an object that just keeps track of the number of espressos, number of coffees, and number of lattes that are being consumed. So let's take a look at the class, the coffee change notifier class, which is just a class that extends that extends the change notifier. As you can see, we have the section. We're going to use the section class to keep track of the espresso, coffee, and latte. We're going to have a, a late notifier here. And the class has a one method, a void here, that is called add number of coffee. And here it's going to pass the espresso, coffee, and latte the number of those beverages that are being increased by. And the class is going to keep track of the total of consumptions of the espresso, coffees, and lattes. And once it creates the totals, it notifies all the listeners to go ahead and redraw themselves. So every time we update the espresso, coffee, and latte, this part of the widget tree that has these three bar charts will update. Now let's take a look at the total bar. This one here is the same. It's a class called Total Coffee Change Notifier, which extends the change notifier. We have an integer called Total Coffee. And here there's a method that we call Total Number of Coffee. So every time it's called, it's passed in the espresso, coffee, and the latte numbers. It's going to keep track of what the total was, and it's going to notify the listeners. So let's go ahead and go to our home page and let's see how this comes together. How do we consume the um, change notifier? Now, in our case, to consume it, it's going to be used with the animated builder. I know the class, it's the animated builder can be kind of throw you a little bit off because it's like, oh, that's just for animations. 
but it really isn't. It can uh, it can be used for any for listenables. So let's take a look at we have a stateful widget, which is our home screen. And we're going to declare here the coffee change notifier, the total coffee change notifier. And again, the coffee change notifier is the three bars, the espresso, coffee, and latte. And the total coffee change notifier handles the total bar. We're going to declare two timers, one for the coffee, timer coffee, and one for the timer total coffee. And because we want to simulate orders coming in and consumptions, I've also set up here the number to plot max at 400. How many beverages do we want to plot maximum? You know, this number could change. So let's look at uh, our init state. In our init state, we're going to initialize the coffee change notifier, the total coffee change notifier. And then we're also going to initialize the values. For the change notifier, we're going to initialize the section of the espresso coffee and lattes to start at zero. And for the total bar, the total coffee change notifier, we're going to initialize the total coffee also, the total to start at zero. We're also going to here declare initialize our timers for the timer coffee. And in here, it's going to go off every two seconds. And it's going to go off, it's going to keep going off until it ran 30 times. And when it's done, it will show in the log file that the hey, coffee total, the coffee is done adding coffees. But when it's not done, every time, every two seconds, the coffee change notifiers add number of coffee it's method is called, and it's going to add to the total three espressos, five coffees, and four lattes. Now let's take a look at the timer for the total the total coffee bar, and it's going to go off every three seconds. It's going to run for 22 times. And when it's done, it's also printed a log file. Total coffee is done. But meanwhile, every three seconds, it's going to take the total coffee change to no fire. It's going to call the total number of coffee method, and it's going to press in the numbers of espresso, coffees, and latte, the totals that are available at the time. Now also, as good citizens, we're going to call the dispose method, and we're going to dispose of the coffee change notifier, the total coffee change notifier. We're going to cancel the timers. And then after, the super dispose will be called. So anytime you want to dispose your objects, make sure you call them before the super dispose. And in the init state, make sure you call super init first, and then initialize your objects. Okay, and let's take a look at our um, at our page now. We just have a regular scaffold with an app bar. In the body, I just declared a safe area, a single child scroll view with a column, and the column has a row. And in this row, we have the first three espresso coffee latte bars wrapped inside an animated builder. So this is what's going to consume the change notifier. Under the animation property, we just pass the coffee change notifier object. That's it. And in the builder, we're going to print to the log file. Hey, we're adding an espresso coffee and latte. And we're going to say, this is the number of espressos, coffees, and lattes that are being added, which you saw earlier in the run right here. That would be what goes into the log file. And it's going to re every time this animated builder, the coffee change notifier adds new coffees, it's going to redraw only these three bars, which here they're, they're created by uh, this class called Move Vertical Bar Widget, which just has a, an icon, the number of the plot, which is going to take from the change, the coffee change notifier, the espresso. For the coffee one, it's going to take the coffee. And for the latte one, it's going to take the latte. Simple as that. Let me just close this down. And then for the total column, we have the second animator builder, which is going to take that animation as the total coffee change notifier. And in the builder, again, it's going to print to the log file, the total coffee change notifier, total number of coffees being consumed. And again, 
it's going to return the mood vertical bar widget, which is this tall one here on the right, with the icon. And it's going to take the total coffee change notifier, total call, coffee value, and plot it. So that every time the timer adds the total, retotals the, the consumption, only the, this bar, the total bar, is redrawn. So giving us great performance over the page so that only the appropriate widget is redrawn. How does it work? The change notifier and animated builder allow to selectively rebuild individual widgets for performance. Use fields to contain data, defining them in the change notifier. Use methods to modify data and call the notify listeners method. Use the animated builder widget in the widget tree to rebuild widgets selectively if the data changed.